if he can answer that. Right now, we're awaiting Anthony Hanshaw's entrance to the Mississippi Coast Coliseum ring. Undefeated Anthony Tony the Tiger Hanshaw. Quite an entrance. Uh, I'm, I'm <laughs> I got nothing to say. It was loud. <laughs> yes, it was. But well, let that be a him, lesson. <laughs> it got him pumped up, I'll say that. Let that be a lesson to young rappers. Turn the mic on first. <laughs> <laughs> and in just a moment, Roy Jones Jr. The, you can hear the cheers starting to build in anticipation. Quite an outfit, quite an entrance. I, I think, think he's a five time champion. So he gets a split decision on the entrance, <laughs> I think. Ah, the gladiator outfit, huh? Not bad. There's one thing about Roy Jones Jr. Every time fighters talk about him and get under his skin, he tends to have a good performance. Let's see what happens tonight. All right, we've had all the uh, show and the uh, flair, and now it's time for the introductions to our main event. Here's Tom Garcia. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this bout, as well as all the bouts this evening, are sanctioned and regulated by the Mississippi Athletic Commission. John Lewis, chairman. Board members, Eddie Payton, Larry Torgensen in attendance. This fight brought to you by Murad Mohammed, Murad Productions, and Square Ring Incorporated, in association with IP Casinos Resort and Spa. Also, Down South Boxing, as well as Gary Shaw Productions. This is your main event. Scheduled for 12 rounds of professional boxing in the light heavyweight division. This is all for, also for the IBC light heavyweight championship. Judges for this bout are as follows. Mr. Gary Ritter, Bill Clancy, David Toronto. And the referee up close and personal, Keith Hughes. And now, for the fighters. Fighting out of the blue corner. This fighter comes in at a very prepared 175 pounds. He has a perfect professional boxing record. 21 wins, no defeats. 14 of those wins coming by knockouts. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome from Mansion, Ohio, this is Tony the Tiger, Henshaw, Henshaw.
And now, fighting out of the red corner, this gentleman comes in at a very ready 175 pounds. He has an unbelievable professional boxing record of 50 wins versus only four defeats. 38 of those wins coming by knockouts. Ladies and gentlemen, former middleweight champion of the world, former super middleweight champion of the world, former light heavyweight champion of the world, former heavyweight champion of the world, five-time world champion in four weight classes, and the greatest athlete in boxing today. Ladies and gentlemen, from Pensacola, Florida, Roy Jones Jr. Jr. They love him here in Biloxi. This little way of also trying to bring this area back. The noise in here is just unbelievable. Oh, pounding. Tremendous. Pounding. All right, fighters. <coughs> You're all going to see yourselves in the dressing room. I remind you to listen to me at all times. Shake hands. Shake hands. Good luck to both of you. Scheduled for 12. Every one in this corner keeps saying Roy is doing it in six. Oh, we'll see. All right. <laughs> Floyd Mayweather Sr., who trains Anthony Hanshaw, says Hanshaw in six. <laughs> Let's see so if we get six to... is going to be the big round. Let's see if we get to six. <laughs> Let's go! All right, 38 years old. Lloyd Jones Jr. has been boxing Ready, professionally baby? since 1989. Hey, David. He suffered Ready? one of the uh, crushing defeats in the Olympics in 88. And has gone on to become one of the great pros ever. And so going right after him, right off the bat. That is his style. Put the pressure on right away. The cover up by Roy Jones. The Hancho did get a couple of punches in on the inside. Floyd said all oh, Roy has a left hook. Well, he just missed with one right there. Doing the presses. Get the shot in there. Yeah. Roy should open up a little bit. Because he's just trying to feel and see what he's got. He knew Roy Jones talked to us knowing that this was going to be Hanshaw's style. And Hanshaw would put pressure on and work on the inside. And Roy's keeping the left hand up a little bit. Really have a left jab using the left hook a lot. Mancho should be jabbing as he walks in. But Roy's letting him come in. Yeah. He's, not the, he's not doing anything to stop him. And Hancho throwing punches. Roy covering up some of those punches getting in. So it's trying. Oh, he's really loading up early. And some of those punches have landed. They're still missing. You see the flashes of quickness in there. But he's got to land a punch. Yeah, Roy's thrown a couple of right hand leads, but they haven't landed. Remember, Jones used to never lose rounds, let alone get hit. He seemed to get tagged every once in a while. In the introductions, Tom Garcia said that Hanshaw had a perfect record, just almost perfect. His last fight was a 12-round draw, which he should have won. He got a bad decision. And we talked in the open how many people get to smother Roy Jones and go to the body. That's what he's trying to do. Roy smiling after he landed the left of the body. Final 
seconds of round one. Watch the holding. Watch the holding. <laughs> and Henshaw sticking to his plan to work on the inside. Roy looking flashy with a quick right hand as we come to the end of round one. Henshaw coming forward, putting the pressure on him. He gets on Roy, just throws a lot of punches, doesn't allow Roy to punch back, tries to smother him. Work the body, work the head. Some were blocked, but a couple guys in the wall, so. But Henshaw being the aggressor. Roy with a quick little right hand, but needs to spin out, do a little work in the center of the ring. But right now he's in the Henshaw control the action. Let's go, corner. First fight at 175 pounds for Tony Hanshaw. And as Tony Page was saying earlier, he, his long range plans are to go back down to 168 because some of the best fighters around are at 160 and 168. Never know if he scores a big win, you know, he'll stay here. He's still the aggressor. Roy will try and catch him with the left hook coming as opposed to the left jab. And a quick right over the top. Come on, right. Stop, stop. Right. Ah, come on, Albert. Clean now. Watch. Right for the body landed. And so measuring the Jones, but looking for an opening. Jones, fast hands, caught Hanshaw. Backed him off a little bit. And Hanshaw answering back. Good body shots by Hanshaw. If you think Roy would want to spin out there in the center of the, center of the ring. Hanshaw digging some real good body shots. Both hands. Nice left hand by Jones. Again. And Hanshaw finally backed off. Good right hand by Jones. Hanshaw backing off. He felt the sting. Yes, he's, he's not coming forward now. He got hit with a good left hand. First time that we saw Hanshaw back off. And Jones landed some really good shots. Looks like Jones is trying to lay a trap for him to come forward, catch him on the left coming in. Now the question, I think, for, for Roy Jones is can he sustain that kind of activity and land those punches. Take, take a page out of Bernard Hopkins book and fight in mean, one minute of three minutes. He's got Hancho backing up just a little bit. Oh, nice one. Oh, yeah, again. And he held on. Oh, he's giving Hancho's respect. There's no doubt about that. If Hancho thinks that all Roy Jones was or has, it's a left hook. He's mistaken. I'm still surprised Roy staying on the ropes, not working the center of the ring. Got the left hand down. And he's gonna try and throw that left hook up from the thigh. Alton Murkison wants that right hand, straight right hand, and that's what he gave him. Good round for Roy. And a little flash by Roy Jones Jr. There he is, a little dancing time. <laughs> Fans love it. Let the world hear you, boys. I don't want you moving straight back, though, okay? Come out to the left and to the right. You see Anthony Hanshaw trying to come in forward. Roy has a nice little right uppercut. Stung Hanshaw just a little bit. Roy looking, right hand lead, backs him off with it. Steve keeps coming forward. Hanshaw still backing up. You feel the power. Jones looking at him with that right hand. 
Gaethje just tried to close the distance. Look at Royce. For one round, anyway, Roy Jones recaptured. Yeah. Turn the clock back a little bit. Yeah. Round three. That's what I'm used to with Jones with his hands up like that. Shorter distance to go with the punches. Trying to come in behind that jab. More movement by Jones, not spending as much time on the ropes. The left hand shall come in and tries to get a sneak a shot in. Let your hands go, guys. Let your hands go. him with that uppercut in round two. That could be very effective for him. Roy answering back. And in combination, which is a good sign. With flurry to the body. And again. Hanshaw. Jones trying to back him up. Roy's left eye looks a little swollen. Trying to back Hanshaw. Yeah. Trying to make Hanshaw fight backing up. Hanshaw not coming forward anymore. Like Roy stalking him. Jones is staying on him. And Jones has done a good job covering up and blocking a lot of those punches by Hanshaw. Roy still has the hand speed. Hanshaw's worked the body well. Hanshaw can try to close that distance again. Roy is sneaking fast, though. Taking those little running steps. Uh, that right hand lead. It's sharp and straight. seconds of round three. Oh. Hey. End of the round. And to this point, Roy Jones Jr. has got the crowd excited. And he has fought well. Looking good so far. Our viewer poll. Uh, the boxing, our boxing tribute, 175 pounds. Roy Jones Jr. secured the WBA heavyweight title by defeating which fighter? John Ruiz, Glenn Kelly. Text box A to 79886. Text box B to 79886 if you think it was Glenn Kelly. Or you can enter for free at fightinteractive.com. Boxing trivia. Second out. I'll, 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 I'll give it away. Corner. <laughs> Roy looking very confident here. Looks like he's having fun. What? Round four. All right, scorecard through three, Tony. I have it 29-28 uh, for Jones. Get the first round of the hand short, and next two for Jones. Jab by Hanshaw. Now that Roy is off the rope, this is the old Roy Jones he used to. The center of the ring, doing things, fooling around, doing that little kick step, whatever, in the middle of the ring. Not used to see him against the uh, rope. Good left hook. He's still got the hand speed. Yeah.
Bradshaw not throwing as many punches as he was in the past. Back to Slip Jones. A good combination. Boy smiling at Hanshaw. And a good jab again. Looking for that left hook from Jones. He has to look for the left hook from Jones and the sneaky right by Jones. And to jab coming behind it. He hasn't done that in a while. And left hook to the body by Roy Jones. Oh, left uppercut. Landed beautifully by Jones. Blowing the dust off a lot of punches tonight. Hanshaw has been able to move right in, but he's paid a price. There's that straight right hand again. It's quick, short, and it's been accurate. And if you're landing those kind of punches, maybe you should put them together, try and get him out of there. He's waiting for the sixth yeah, round. I guess. Never know what happens on the way to the finish. <laughs> Hanshaw. Where he wants to be, but he's not. There's an uppercut by Hanshaw. He wasn't being as effective as he was earlier. He's got Roy back against the rope, that's why. And Roy not spinning, not fighting his way off the ropes. Absorbing some punches. He just let Hanshaw just step in instead of just making him pay. Seconds of the fourth round. And one where I thought Roy Jones let Hanshaw get back into it a little yeah. bit. He's got to just stay off the ropes. I don't understand. I mean, I understand taking a breather, but you need to get a little more effective. Nice uppercut. Caught him right on the point of the chin. Just pulled it back, shot it right through there. Good shot. Hanshaw came back against the ropes. And some shots right in there. Second Jones doesn't get off, so Hanshaw takes advantage of it. You're going to stay there? I'm going to hit you. Good uppercut by Hanshaw. Hanshaw had been trained by John Russell for his entire career and then decided to change trainers. He basically said they had a clash of personalities. It happened. And uh, just hooked up with Floyd Mayweather Sr. about a month ago. And as Michael Marley said earlier, one of the hottest, if not the hottest, trainers yeah. around. And I asked Floyd, how long before you think, how do you know that Anthony is, is listening or not listening? He said, by the end of two rounds, I know. So far, so good. Now here, Roy Jones fought his way off the yeah. ropes and he backed up Hanshaw. And look at him. Royce is coming forward. He's got a little knot over his left eye, looks like. Come on, come on, guys. A better angle on that. And this is more of what you talked about, Tony, where Jones makes Hanshaw pay working on the inside. It is a little not above Jones' left eye. That's what I'm saying. You wait until the sixth round. Well, you got the opportunity. Take him out. Take him out. He's backed up Hanshaw again. Yeah. This is where he could throw his left hook or the sneaky right hand. Hanshaw not snapping the jab, more pawing with it. Right hand lead scoring again for Roy Jones. And Hanshaw's punch is getting a little slower, too. Nice. There's that right hand again. A 
Looks like Jones is, is wearing him down. Hansen needs to pick it up again. Step. Good job by Hanshaw, keeping his composure and landing the jab. He's done okay backing up. Yes, you got to fight that way. Just got to watch out. That right hand by Jones has been good. The left hook to the body. Hanshaw's trying to hold his hold his position. He's backing up slowly but surely. Hanshaw's got to make an adjustment. Roy Roy Jones Roy. Has, has landed about 98% of those straight right hands. And he's landing first. Pulling the trigger, no problem. Coming forward, fighting behind it. His shot. End of round five. Lacey Jones in the middle of the ring, coming forward. Hancho trying to hold his own, gets caught. Jones a little more aggressive, fighting with the right hand, coming behind him. That's what you got to do. You just can't go backwards all the time. Can't go to the ropes. Roy looks comfortable, but you heard Alton Murkison say you've been landing a single, double and triple it up sometimes. Here's the all-famous sixth round coming up. All right, we'll see. Jones people say this is his round to stop Hanshaw. And Floyd Mayweather Sr. said Hanshaw will stop Roy Jones here in the sixth. But you know what? They better be ready to go 12. <laughs> Still coming forward, but no, no jab yet. Just walking in. Pressure by hand, Shaw, but not much getting through. We're pushing. Measure Roy Jones. Doesn't have the snap that he had earlier in that jab. Oh, sharp. Sharp. You're getting wider. Jones backing up. Hanshaw seems to gain confidence after landing that punch. Maybe he is going for the sixth round. Roy Grimace just a little bit. I just missed him. It's that left hook with the left hand down. He's a little low now. He's, now he's covered up with okay. There's the uppercut. Hey, he's got hands in the back up. Boys, landing some solid shots now. A couple of good jabs by Hanshaw. I'm wondering if that left eye might give Roy some trouble. Yeah. He's swelling over the left eye. Left in the sixth round. Both guys claimed it. Let's see who really takes it home. If. Good work by Hanshaw. Pulling his way in. And he steps too far back, though. So it was effective in the early rounds, coming forward and smothering Jones. Left <laughs> <laughs> hand down again. 
again by Jones. Learn his lesson, keep it up. Ten seconds. And so it's like he wants to throw the right, but he's afraid he might get, might get tagged with the left. Oh, good right hand by Jones at the end of round six. Jones gonna land right hand a little more often. Comes in, catches him coming in. You see, Ancho got his hands down. Nice little sneaky right hand by Roy Jones. Yeah, yeah, see, I see it. Let's keep control. That's the main thing. Icon down here. He calls it his second home. Did most of his training in Pensacola, but did come over to Biloxi to do some training for this fight. This is round seven. Beers scoring through six. 59-55 for Jones. Give him the last the rounds two through six. Got it a little bit closer. Four rounds to two. Jones is showing some pop, showing some speed. That right hand. There's that speed and the pop on one shot. Henshaw has not been able to stop that right hand no. from landing. He doesn't, it must be too quick for him because yeah. he, he doesn't react. It's just past him like that. He doesn't realize he's coming. The pressure by Henshaw. Tony and I are getting a good yes. shower. Absolutely, and it was raining in here. <laughs> <laughs> There's a double hook. And Hanshaw with a good job keeping him yes. on the ropes. Pulled him back into the ropes. Good job for Hanshaw. Keep him right there, still throwing punches. Body shot, left hook. Hanshaw with a great job. Good right hand got in by Jones, but Hanshaw not backing off. Not at all. Sensing an opening here and a chance to hurt Jones. Good round for Hanshaw. Good right hand again. Jones gets one shot in. Hanshaw's getting two and three. Nice overhand right by Hanshaw. Just good exchange oh, by both guys. Great, great work. And Hanshaw takes a step back. They let him come off the ropes. As if, it was almost as if Hanshaw felt he needed a no rhythm. <laughs> Can Jones do something here in the last few seconds to grab the round back? Nice uppercut. The sneaky right hand again. But Hanshaw smothered him by standing right on top of him. Can't really throw an uppercut when your arms are against the rope. on these ropes, the same guys in my ear. <laughs> Real loose. A couple of times it looked like Roy was halfway out of the ring. Oh, right hand by Jones. A wild left. That missed. Hanshaw answers back. And Hanshaw finishes the round strong. Very good. I thought that was Hanshaw's best oh, round. Yes, it was. I gave it to him easy. I mean, he controlled the action. Got you, baby. You got you working, man. That's all you. That's all your round right there, baby. Do his eye. Do his eye. We all good, baby. All right, Biloxi. Tiger, man, it's your jungle, man. Stay on his ass, look at it. Exactly. Run your punches, man. Like a, move your head. Treat him like the roosters he play with, man. 
Jackie. Get your win, man. Run your punches, boo your Always seems calm. He seems to always be looking at someone <laughs> outside of the ring. He's working the room while he's working the ring. Out for round eight. Let's see if we get more head movement from Anthony Hanshaw, which is what Floyd Mayweather Sr. wants from him. Coming in, but he's not coming behind the punch just yet. And so using his strength to keep Roy in place. Hanshaw trying to go punch for punch with Roy. Now the body shot. Good body shot by Hanshaw. Hanshaw staying busy. That right hand yeah. landing by Jones. Maybe he needs to use that more. That just seems to land so often. The more he throws it, the less Jones can throw back. Or he'll have to throw after he's landed about three or four of them. Swelling above Jones' line. A little more for now. Oh, there's that right hand by Jones. I mean, it continues to land throughout the fight. Let's see if he picks up the pace, though. Left hand down and trying to flick it out quickly. He's trying to turn into a, a, a lethal left hook. Not yet, he needs to keep it up. Well, we're holding on and punch. And Joe's starting to work once again on the inside. Against the ropes and not letting Jones come off. I see Jones get off the road. Just spin him and catch him while he spins. When he spins up to do it, he's not doing it. Stop holding. Not much room for Roy Jones to punch. No. You can't bring your punches back that far. Good body shot with the left hand by Jones. For Roy to pick up the pace, the answer is this. The breather around over there. Now, now this is where you'd think that Roy would, Roy Jones would do yeah, some things. Yeah, steal the round. Has that quick right hand. Eight rounds in the books. No, well, let's see if he's about ready. Boy, Jones looks comfortable. Straight up on you, okay? Let's check our viewer poll. Who will win tonight's main event? Well, it's come down a little bit. It was at 87% for Roy Jones Jr. Now it's at 83%. 17% for Anthony Hanshaw. It's not too late to text win A if you like Roy Jones Jr. Win B if you like Anthony Hanshaw. 24198. Or enter for free at fightinteractive.com. The Roy keeps looking over at his father. That's who he's looking at. Over okay. There. All right. There's big, there's big Roy. Okay. Now we know. Round nine. Scheduled for 12 for the IBC Light Heavyweight Championship. And another straight right hand lands. After round eight, Hanshaw has not lost. He's had one draw. Jones Jr. 17 and 3. I think this is my 20th Roy Jones Jr. fight doing uh, either as a writer or broadcast for international TV. 
to see flashes of him. Not, not the old Roy. I guess you can't turn the clock back that, that far. The speed, the hand speed is there. Maybe it's the foot speed that's missing. Because he's just staying against the ropes. And we've all seen certain fighters that get older and they stand against the ropes and try and fight off the ropes. And Shaw doing a good job right here. Not letting Roy rest. Good upper cut by Jones again. And almost got Hancho to back off. Hancho's paying a price. Good double up left. That left by Roy Jones. That hurt. And left hook to the ribs. And he knows it. And he's trying to follow it up. And now he lands the combination. Look for another left to the ribs. Hancho backing up. And Jones showing confidence. And he's got the crowd going. He's, he's robbing them a little bit. Nice combination again. Hancho trying to tie him up. Roy Jones feeding off the crowd. Yes, indeed. He said the crowd missed him. I think he missed the crowd. That was right. Go back downstairs. Oh, good left hook. He knocked out Virgil Hill in this building with a shot to the ribs. Has been backing up in this round. Right hand. Uh huh. And Roy Jones landed on the ground. Yeah. Virgil, maybe can do it in here. Again. Hands down by Roy Jones. Now both hands down. Almost daring Hanshaw to come in at him. He heard Hanshaw with that shot. Hanshaw being a little more careful. Yep. Yep. He paid a price in this round. Got nailed a couple of times. Body shot by Hanshaw. Answered with that straight right hand. Hanshaw is game. Got a lot of heart coming forth with some good shots tonight. Whoa! <laughs> Roundhouse missed. That felt good. <laughs> Final seconds of the ninth round. Roy Jones Jr. landed some big shots in that ninth round, and he feels good about it. Good work. Good work. That's the right. That's why I like your round. Way to go. No, no, he don't like it. Shorten him up, though. Shorten him up. Don't ride him out. Don't ride him out too much. Boom, boom. Jones with some good flurries in the ring. Nice uppercut. That's a horse hair on the good left hook was the one that really did the damage. Put Anthony Hanshaw right on the rim, but right there. You see him back up. You know that hurt. Roy just came in. He's looking for that one shot. And when Roy gets that little room, that little extra yep. room that he hasn't had in the last couple of rounds, he gets that uppercut. He doesn't need it. Just small, a little opening. Let me get it through. Tenth round coming up. Once again, talking to his dad at ringside. Using the right hand as an exclamation point. Maybe that's the punch he's going to throw now. Check your scorecard through nine. 87 84, Jones. All right. We got a little bit closer than that, but Jones in the lead. We got a 5 4 for Roy Jones. Down again. Tempting Hanshaw to come in. Then flicking that quick jab. Both of Roy's hands coming down a little bit. They put the right back up. You see if Jones will go back to the ribs. He stuns Hanshaw. Good left hook. Hanshaw answered. <laughs> Last time Roy Jones scored a knockout was 2002 against Clinton Woods. It's a long time. Long time.
Kershaw landing his jab. Still being aggressive, still coming forward. <laughs> A little shake and bake by Roy Jones. Looks like he's entertaining. <laughs> he hasn't lost any of his showmanship. No. And here's Hanshaw applying pressure. Jones doing a good job of throwing punches. This seems like he's trying to use that left hook. Has almost smothered himself. Yeah, he's he a little step back, with some range, but he's still the aggressive. He's throwing not much landing. And Roy trying to find some way to get him off. Well, he's needed to just spin out. Final seconds of round 10. Hanshaw throwing, but not much landing there. Some are getting through, though. Yeah. Cut through and a right hand landed by Jones. At the end of round 10. Both men with their arms up. All right. Looking good. Looking good. That's why I like to see you jam. Let the world hear you, Bullets in Mississippi. Don't talk. Take deep breath. And then around. Answer just throwing a lot of punches. Boy trying to block him. Answer did a lot of work in that round. Shots to the body count. Boy trying to fight back. This is a real close it fight, is. and I, if Anthony Hanshaw is going to win, he needs two big rounds. Well, I got it 96-94 Jones. I gave that last round to Hanshaw. I thought he did enough. A lot of pressure, a lot of shots got through. Pick up for cut by Roy Jones. Jones showing some bounce in his step. that Roy Jones worked really hard for this fight. He's gotten into real good shape. Oh, yeah. And here's Hanshaw again. But you're giving Hanshaw an opportunity here. You got to fight back. Oh, that right hand got through. Yes, it did. Now Jones answering back as if he's angry that he yes. got tagged. We've got to back it up. When's the last time we saw Hanshaw against the world? Right hand again scores by Roy Jones. Oh, wouldn't the old Roy Jones have punched by now? Yes. Left hand. Let go, Roy. Punch away. Watch your head, Anthony. The quick hands are there, but only briefly. Yeah. And only in like one or two shots for Roy Jones. Those big flurries aren't there. And Hanshaw's taking a good shot. But he's letting Hanshaw. Oh, nice. That hurt him. That got him. That got him. Big left hook and a right hand. Fuck with the knees. Hanshaw's in trouble. And it is for the knockdown. It was. And Roy Jones Jr. is one of the best finishers in boxing, no matter what his age. Plenty of time left in round 11. Look for the left hook or the overhand right. And a little flash by Roy Jones. What's he waiting for? Him? 
Roink may have spent a lot of energy made to score that knockdown. Less than 20 seconds to go. He's not had to throw a punch. Yeah, he's letting him off the hook. Let him clear his head. Straight right hand scores again by Roy Jones. Yanshaw has steadied himself, but we come to the end of round 11. That was big. Yes, that it was. was. Big for Roy Jones. He needed it too. Just when it looked like he was in trouble, he took a big shot. He answered back. There you see Roy fighting off the nice left hook, nice left upper cut. You see he's hurt right there. Right hand misses, left hand does the damage. Another short left hook. Roy Jones just sneaky fast. One, two. Watch the right hand. Just caught him. Left hook backs him up. It seemed like it lasted a combination, but he did get a left hand in there. And I really felt it started when Hanshaw tagged him, and, and I think Roy was really angry. He was, because he, he got a shot through. So they get to round 12. The touch of the gloves. And Roy puts on the show again. <laughs> Not get careless, though. No. Hanshaw has been game and been tough. As he's got an E on his back. <laughs> Where'd that come from? <laughs> <laughs> one, of the, one of the corners. And the chance of Roy, Roy up from the crowd. Choice stuck with his game plan, but he has paid a price several times in this battle. Just coming forward, not snapping the jab. Trying to smother Jones when he has him against the rope. You can't out jab him at this point. Well, he can, let's say, Roy's not going to throw a jab, but Roy can beat him with a left hook. Right-hand lead scored twice by Roy Jones. Those guys going out right above us. Good work off the ropes by Jones. Hanshaw applying the pressure. Jones trying to look like he's trying to throw an or a left hook. And he gets it in. Answer is still hanging in there. Oh, yeah, he's battling. Wearing down, though. Good shot to the body by Jones. Jones has done some good work. Yeah. Finish round. Got that right hand in there. Antron keeps throwing him back. But Hanshaw has been open for that straight right hand. You got to back it up. Boy, Jones has landed it most of the night. Looks like Hanshaw just out of gas now. And the fans urging Roy Jones on. <laughs> 20 seconds to go. And Hanshaw stopped. Hanshaw stopped throwing punches. He hasn't thrown a punch in at least 20 seconds. He now backed off. I think Roy's just sparing him, I guess. Oh, good right hand again by Roy Jones. And again. Three times in a row. And that's it. It goes the distance. Roy Jones Jr. in a bout he had to have. A solid 12-round performance. He looked like he fought well. He did. He looked very, very well. I got it 116, 111 for Jones. It's almost as if right at the end, Hanshaw ran out of gas, and Roy had more respect and just let him off the hook. 
What do I look good? I thought so. Hanshaw stuck with his plan. He was aggressive, but he never really hurt Roy no. in the fight. But when he did hit him, it seemed like it woke up Roy and made him angry, and then he went after him. But Roy looked pretty good. Just to me, stayed on the ropes a little bit too long. I don't know if that's old age of being 38 trying to save his energy. But when he did go into the center of the ring, a lot of speed, good accuracy. And when he did fight off the ropes, that showed me something there also. Well, for Roy Jones Jr., it's something to build on, I think. Yeah, it's, I, think I think this uh, deserves another chapter. <laughs> well, if he wanted something to show he could compete at a high level, I think he accomplished that. Did he, a younger Roy Jones Jr. probably would have demolished yeah. Anthony Hanshaw. Probably would have taken him out early, but not the young Roy Jones. No. That's why he probably stays on the ropes a little bit. It's, it's a different time, but he showed he can still hit and he can still hurt. This is the 11th round. Here's where Hanshaw sneaks a right hand in there. Seems to get Roy a little upset. Nice. There's a, there's a combination he's talking about. Throws the punches, has them hurt. Good left hand. And he let him off the hook, I think. I think he just showed a lot of respect. And, and, and I guess if I take a guess, Roy, Roy will say he had a lot of respect. There's no need for him to take any punches. I had to fight in the bag. And, and you know, that's nice. But people still want to see the knockout. But yeah. I, that's the thing. But Roy had him outclassed at that point. But it just seemed like Hanson tried that last flurry against the ropes. Then, as you said, didn't throw a punch for a while. Yeah, we back. I tell you. Oh, we got hit a few times. You see a little, little knot over his left eye. Big crowd in the ring. Photographers everywhere. We perform. We put on the show. You're right. Muhammad, the promoter. We the baddest. Oh, man, we the baddest. The fans got their money. For I think so. I think, you know, they, they love him here. And I think Roy uh, put on a good show. And Hanshaw was game. You can't say enough about him as a competitor. Oh, no. He's in a, in a tough spot. Does he continue at 175? Does he go back to 168? He's got a new trainer, and certainly Floyd Mayweather Sr. has only worked with him for a little while. So it'll be very interesting to see where they go from here. And here's Roy Jones acknowledging the sportsmanship with Anthony Hanshaw. Yeah. I like going this. around the ring, acknowledging the crowd. You know, if, if, if such a thing as a good loss, this is a good loss because if he goes down to 168, there's a name. He's a name that some of the guys moving up would want to fight. Right. The Where's the ring? He said he wasn't scared at him. Scared him. He went right after him. I'm coming back, baby. That's a one-year layoff. Waiting the decision of the judges. A solid performance for Roy Jones Jr. His first bout in almost a year. And now acknowledging Floyd Mayweather Sr. who said some. Uh, not yeah. so kind things about Roy. Well, I think he, he means it in a mean-spirited way. <laughs> <laughs> now, are they exchanging poems there? Uh, they could be. Well, I guess one's an Ezra Pound fan. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I think Roy looked pretty decent. He looked. He looked. He looked good. You get him beat. Tony with yes. the referee, please. Let's get the announcement. Then we'll do the interview. Oh. Coming. We are ready for the decision. Let's go to the ring to ring announcer Tom Garcia. Okay. Yale Bay. We have a decision. Give both of these fighters a tremendous round of applause. They left it all in the ring tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Can we go to the cards. Judge Gary Ritter. Scores about 114, 113. Judge Bill Clancy scores about 117 to 110. 
Judge Dave Toronto scores the bout. 118 to 109. For your winner, by unanimous decision, and new IBC Light Heavyweight Champion, Roy Jones Jr. Jr. One judge had it very close by one point, and the other two judges had it more one-sided. Yes. I thought Roy did a, did a good job tonight. I'd like to see him back in there soon. If, if Trinidad is the guy, so be it. I think he wanted to look good. I think he accomplished his mission for the night. Mm -hmm. A win, looked good, and certainly didn't get hurt. Michael Marley has uh, got the winner and the new IBC champion with him. Michael. Yeah. Roy Jones. Yeah. That was a vintage performance. We saw triple hooks. Yeah. We had double uppercuts. Yeah. Uh, we saw sensational footwork. And I think it was hand division. speed that beat this game, young man, hand shot. Talk about to, talk about this man and what he did. This man is a very game opponent. He showed a lot of class, a lot of heart, a lot of determination. Nothing less than what I expected from him. That's why I picked him. Uh, he had a big heart. He's going to try to the end. And that's what you got to have. Your fans want to fight. So you got to give him a fight. This man gave his all. He gave him all their money's worth. Thank everybody who bought the fight, who came to the fight. The man gave you y'all's money, money worth. So did I. It's been a year layoff. I had four stitches. I got a cut playing basketball on Monday. I had to get four stitches in the corner of my eye before the fight. This man worked too hard for me to pull out. I refused to pull out of a fight. I came in here with a cut eye, and I came out here with a cut eye. And I don't care because this man worked too hard to be denied his opportunity. But Roy, the champ is back. He's back. Stay with us now, Roy. Anthony the Tiger Hancho, I'm sure your father's looking down. He must be very proud. Absolutely. How do you feel about your Absolutely. I feel good, man. You know, I, first of all, I want to thank God, man, to give me the power and the strength, man, God, to come man. out here and fight this legend. Amen. You know what I mean? Roy Jones is a legend. You know what I'm saying? I put my heart and soul into this, man. I trained hard for this fight, but he was the better man. Okay. I'm and uh, Roy, what they're talking about Felix Tito Trinidad, he's coming back. There's some super middleweight champions out there. What do you want to do next? Whoever want to come and get it. You understand right. me? I don't duck or dodge That's nothing. Right. I'll take Tito. I'll take Glenn Johnson. I'll take whoever. Only person I ain't going to take is Bernard Hopkins because he played with me too much. I ain't fighting Bernard Hopkins. I don't want to fight him. So don't even call me. But anybody else, bring it on. Roy, any disappointment that you didn't get the knockout? No, you no, you no, stunned no. him several yeah. times. Now you could have heard the guy, but that's not my style. My style is to make the guy work, get the fans what they want, keep the fight going. You know, the guy put a game up. I don't want to necessarily knock the guy out if I ain't got to. I want him to learn as much as he can learn. He learned a lot in that 12 rounds. You better believe it. He's going to get somebody hell from here on out because he was blessed with a great opportunity. He went to school tonight. He learned a lot. Trust me. Yeah, I could have picked the pace. I know the fans want me to put the hanger back on him and take him out, but I don't necessarily want to take him. I need 12 rounds. I ain't fought in a year. If I come right back and fight Tito, I need the round. So I had to go ahead and do what I got to do. Do you think there'll be less critics of Roy Jones now? I really don't care. God is my only critic. If God yeah. bless me to go forward, I don't oh, care what the rest man. of them say. That's right, Jeff. Well said. Turn it over to our promoter, Murad Muhammad. Yes. Murad, what, what did you think of Roy's performance? Uh, great performance. His performance was outstanding. I said he was back, and he's definitely back. But this Tiger who we fought, he was a hell of a Tiger. We knew he could fight. If he couldn't get past him, we needed to retire. Now that we got room past him, we call on all comers, all comers, come on. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. we back, we back. Roy Jones is back, Gary Shaw. What about your fighter? What about his performance? I'm very proud of him. He had a great performance. I've been around boxing a long time. The score of 118-109. I don't want to take anything away from Roy. He's victory. But that's not a score that was in this fight. Scoring aside, Gary, there's no doubt that the Tiger made a name for himself. Oh, yeah, absolutely. He showed it was a good game plan. Remember, he hasn't been with Floyd a, a real long time. And Roy, look, Roy's one of the best in the world. I mean, you can't take it away, but it was a good game plan. Thank you, Gary. Back to Sam Rosen at ringside. Thank you, Michael. Congratulations to Roy Jones Jr. Tony, I don't know.